morning. Uh, let us continue our lectures uh, devoted to uh, random operators, uh, which we uh, discussed uh, last time, can serve as a generalization of uh, so operation of stochastic integration. Uh, so we discuss the properties of appropriate random operators. And uh, the main question will be a definition of action of random operators on random elements. Let me uh, recall you the uh, <coughs> uh, facts from the previous lecture, which will, uh, which will be necessary today. So let us H uh, uh, be a separate real real Hilbert space uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, some omega fp uh, as usual, this is probability space. Uh, uh, we discussed the notion of strong random operator. So, strong random operator. Uh, in each in H <coughs> is the linear linear uh, continuous mapping A acting from H to L0 omega H. The last notation L0 omega PH is used for uh, the family of uh, random elements in H which is equipped by topology of convergence in probability. Uh, so we have a correspondence uh, which maps every element of our Hilbert space into a random element uh, in, in the same space and is linear and continuous in probability. Uh, last time we have seen that uh, this uh, notion is much more wide, wider than the uh, than simply a set of random bounded operators. So we have seen a remarkable example related to stochastic integration, uh, which shows us that uh, it can happen that there are no, there are no such a family uh, uh, <clears throat> of uh, bounded operator, linear operators in H, uh, such that uh, H for <clears throat> uh, from a of h from omega will be equal uh, a with theta omega h uh, for uh, uh, elements of our Hilbert space. So 
<coughs> it can happen that there are no such representation. <coughs> Actually, uh, what it means, what it means, it means uh, that uh, the modific the measurable modification which we can build for A uh, can be discontinuous, only discontinuous. Yes? Let me recall you slightly uh, the notion of measurable modification. Uh, we uh, will say that A prime uh, is measurable modification modification of if if uh, you have the following relations the first one uh, a prime is a measurable function from omega multiplied on h to h. Is when I say measured, uh, I mean that here in the product we have a sigma field generated by the product of uh, F and Borel sigma field. And here we have Borel sigma field. And second one, for every H, which belongs to our Hilbert space, we have the relation that a h, h uh, omega is equal to a prime omega uh, h uh, I wish yeah. so uh, we uh, have uh, such property that our a prime is uh, almost equal to uh, a on the every element of h, uh, but has such a nice property. Uh, from previous remark about uh, about <coughs> absence of uh, Bound, uh, family of bounded operators, one can uh, see that uh, it means that all measured modifications of our strong random operator can be discontinuous with respect to the space variable. Uh, moreover, uh, we can have different measured modifications. Of course, uh, one can ask uh, why we have at least one. But it is a well known fact that if we have separable space and a mapping which is continuous in probability, it has a measure of modification. So I can say that if A is strong random operator, it has definitely measure modification. A has a measure modification. Uh, uh, due to 
Yes. Uh, why I'm uh, caring about uh, measured modification? Because uh, I am uh, supposed to uh, act by strong random operator on the random elements. Uh, so the first attempt can be followed. Suppose that a prime is a measured modification. Uh, then, if I have some random element eta, eta is a random element element in H. Uh, then uh, one can try to define one can try to define action of our a prime on the random element eta as follows. Uh, we just uh, define. Action, the action of A on eta as uh, A prime omega from eta of omega, uh, where omega uh, will belong to probability uh, space. So, uh, this is a definition, and uh, one can check that due to separability, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, function which acts from omega to our Hilbert space H became to be a random element. So this uh, this is new random element. And from the first look, everything seems to be okay. But uh, we uh, can have several measured modification. Yes. So uh, the problem is that one can have a lot, actually, different measured modification of our initial operator. So we have the following problem. Uh, one can have uh, different different measure of magnification. Uh, say a prime and a two prime, and it can happen. It can happen that A prime of eta is not equal to A two prime of eta with positive probability. Uh, we will see an example of such situation. Uh, and uh, this uh, became to be a problem for us when we want to discuss the action of strong random operator on random elements. 
uh, and maybe you can feel already that such problem must exist. Why? Because we remember uh, uh, that maybe one example of a strong random operator which we uh, know up to now is the operator of stochastic integration with respect to linear process. And you remember that when we discuss uh, stochastic integrals from the random function with respect to linear process, uh, there are, at least in the literature, one can see different definition, Eto integral, Stratonovich integral, and they are different. So uh, maybe uh, this problem uh, already, uh, maybe we already have a feeling of this problem. Let's look on it again in order to understand that the uh, result of, the, of such our preliminary definition of action of strong random operator on the random elements uh, strongly depend on the choice of modification. So let us consider them exactly related to stochastic integration. I will consider the uh, following even not strong random operator, but strong random functional, uh, linear functional. So uh, I will consider the following situation. Let H be a space in two zero one. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, we consider here the following uh, functional. I will denote it by a again. So a of h is equal to integral from zero to one h t d w. Actually, this is the same stochastic integration which we discussed uh, last time. But uh, uh, to simplify situation. I just uh, fix uh, upper limit. So uh, this is uh, uh, not random element, but a random wave. So H, H is a strong random, random function. Uh, by the way, uh, it will be a good exercise to adapt the previous uh, proof uh, the, uh, from the last lecture to this case and check that A is unbounded uh, random functional. So there are no a family of good functional, uh, a family of functionals uh, bounded uh, which coincide with A. It is really a strong random function. No, actually, this uh, means the W has no derivative which belong to A2. Uh, and uh, now let us speak about the uh, measured modifications of A. I will build it uh, as follows. First of all, uh, I will consider the, the special space H uh, one half. It will be a set of functions uh, acting from zero one R such that, uh, that they satisfy further condition with uh, 
index 1 over 4. Namely, rule t1, t2 from interval 0, 1. We have the uh, absolute value of the difference uh, minus ft2 is less than some constant. The constant can depend on f. Uh, here is uh, t1 minus t2. So uh, this is a set uh, of uh, functions. We and there is one. elder symbol. So they uh, yeah, Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> I just repeat uh, several times that one over four, but forget it there. Of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, that is uh, the set of uh, functions which satisfy Helder condition with uh, power one over four. Uh, note that. Uh, we have a trivial inclusion. Here, H one over four is here. Uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, every function from here is continuous, so uh, uh, square integrate, so we have such inclusion. Um, much more interesting is the fact that it is measured subset. Uh, please check this. Check. So once again, what can, what we should check? Is measured. Okay. So it is borrowed subset in uh, L2. Uh, okay. Uh, so we have such uh, uh, such set, and now let us begin to construct different modification of our strong random function. How I will do it? Uh, I will consider uh, the following functions. Uh, a uh, for all f which belong to h one of four uh, for all n which is uh, greater equal than zero, uh, I will consider the following uh, a n one uh, one f uh, will be the sum from k equal zero to n minus one. Uh, here is uh, f k over n, and here is w k over n, uh, k plus one over n minus w k n. Uh, this is uh, one. Uh, uh, family of functions, and another one will be another one will be a and two of f is equal to sum from k equal one to n f k over n. W k over n minus w k minus one over n. So uh, we just define family of functions a n one, a n two on uh, this set. Uh, now uh, uh, begin to define. Uh, begin to define measure of modification as follows. Uh, uh, since A is continuous in probability and acting on the separate space uh, on, uh, into from the separate space into separate space, then uh, A definitely has some 
uh, measurement modification. I don't know its properties, but it has. So let A with theta is a certain uh, measured modification modification of uh, A. Okay. So let's choose one. Uh, now uh, uh, proceed as follows. Define A one tilde from H as uh, A tilde H if uh, H uh, does not belong to H one over three. So for ugly functions from uh, L two zero one, we just use uh, some modification which we don't know, but it exists. Yeah? Uh, then uh, a limb and n tends to infinity of a one uh, a one n h if h belongs to h one over four and limb exists and limb exist and zero in opposite case uh, if h belong to one over four but uh, there are no i will write it later okay. so this is a uh, this is the definition, uh, and uh, uh, in the same way, one can define in the same way one can define a over two. But uh, just just uh, just one moment, please put here two over n. Yeah, excuse me, two over n. Uh, a prime with two, two in n power, okay? Thank you. Uh, why I am uh, putting it here? Because it can be proved, and please check it again, that for such sequence, due to this relationship, the limit exists with probability one for any h. For fixed H, it exists with probability one. Uh, so we have such a definition uh, of one modification and the same, the same for A tilde two. Uh, in this way, we get two different measured modification of our uh, strong random functional uh, A. Now let uh, let us uh, apply to these uh, modifications. So why they are modifications? Uh, I believe that they are measurable, but why they are modifications of the same? Uh, because uh, uh, for uh, H, which does not belong to uh, this set, it is uh, from the definition of modification. Yes. Yes. Then uh, now uh, let us see. What is the measure of H one fourth? Uh, yes, uh, H uh, here. Then, uh, as I said, limit exists with probability one. Mm -hmm. Due to uh, this uh, two in n power and this, uh, it exists with probability one. Uh, and uh, it definitely coincides with our stochastic integral with probability one. For Ito? 
for, for no, A1. No, it is, uh, uh, Yana, H is deterministic. Okay. So, <laughs> coincide with probability one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, uh, this set has zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so now uh, let us take a random element. Uh, w is a random element in H. Yes. Sorry, but then I don't understand. Uh, so if if the limit of uh, this a one to to n. Uh, coincide with stochastic integral and the limit of a2 to n uh, of h coincides with the stochastic integral, but then why the modifications are different if the limits coincide? Uh, but uh, you see, we have here different sequences, yeah? Yes, but you said that in both cases, the limit is Wiener integral, so stochastic integral. It's Wiener integral with yes. probability one. And this set of probability one depends on the choice of the sequence. You see? Uh -huh. this, uh, this is the main reason. Because when we are working with modification, we usually have for any fixed H, uh, any modification coincide with this uh, winner integral with probability one. But the problem is with this set of probability one. It depends on H. And actually it depends on uh, the choice of the sequence. Thanks, I have to, to think about. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it is uh, very, um, uh, very unusual and surprising. Uh, so we have, uh, a different modification, and now you will see how it works. W is random element in H, yes? Uh, so one can try to define A from W as A1 tilde from W, or A2 tilde from W. And now it is a crucial moment. Let me recall you that W has a Hölder pass uh, up to the uh, Hölder index uh, less than one half. We, uh, we can get this from Kolmogorovsky. So uh, W with probability one is here. So now let's see that W with probability one belongs to H one over four. Yep. So now let us consider this A two in N power one from W, it is equal to the sum from K equals zero to two in N power. Uh, here is uh, W, K, two in N power, W, K plus one, two in N power, minus W, K, two N power. Uh, we see here definition of eta integral uh, of uh, approximate. We see here approximation sum for eta integral. Moreover, due to this uh, two n power, one can check that with probability one, it converge to eta integral. It converge. to eta integral to 
Instagram zero one WT DWT which is equal one half of W one square minus one half. Okay. Now let me write uh, the same for second magnification. Put here sign of second magnification and let me uh, do this just as follows here must be once here uh, minus one okay so now we are uh, uh, taking value of w in the right hand side of the interval uh, where we uh, take the increments of w and then again with probability one it converts to one half of w1 square plus one half. okay so uh, so we see that our different modifications yeah. uh, give us a different answer uh, when we apply them to random element, to linear process. This is a problem. This is a problem. And why we don't think and don't face, uh, the, uh, the, and uh, we did not think and did not face this problem before? Because we were working in good spaces. For example, if we work in a finite dimensional Euclid space, then usually one can achieve uh, not only measurement, but continuous modification. And of course, continuous modification is unique. So uh, in uh, finite dimensional spaces, uh, the problem of choice of modification, of course, it can arise, but uh, and, uh, one can uh, uh, invent some artificial examples where it arises, but it is artificial. But in infinitely dimensional space, as we have seen, uh, in case related to stochastic integration, we uh, face the problem. Uh, so uh, now uh, we begin to think uh, how to solve this problem, how to define properly action of the strong random operator on the random elements uh, in order to extend uh, into stochastic integration on different situations and uh, uh, in future, how to solve equations with obtained random operator and so on. Uh, let us begin with the case of how shall strong random operators. So uh, let us consider how shall strong random Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I will consider H, and now uh, uh, I will say that uh, A is definition that A is Gaussian Gaussian. Strong random operator if Uh, for all h 
you won't get to H. Uh, AH is a house. Uh, of course, uh, since uh, uh, it is Gaussian for fixed age, the next natural question arises, what about the joint distribution for uh, several age? And uh, it is trivial to see that uh, the family AH is jointly Gaussian. So A H H belong to H is Hausian family. It is a statement or requirement in the definition. No, no, it is a statement. Uh, as mm -hmm. I said, it is trivial to see because we already know that A is linear. Yeah. So if we take any linear combination of H. The answer will be also Gaussian. Mm -hmm. uh, from this point of view, uh, you see that uh, uh, now a family is also Gaussian. Now uh, we uh, have such a good property. Why I think that it, it, it is good? Uh, because uh, we know already some properties of Gaussian random elements in Hilbert space. Uh, and uh, we already know, for example, that they have, they have, uh, uh, that they have a second moment. Yeah. So we now, uh, a H has a finite second moment. Uh, you remember every Hausian distribution in Hilbert space has finite second moment. Okay, uh, now let us see that uh, the following statement holds lemma. A is continuous in the square mean. Is continuous in square. Uh, why we have to prove something? Because, uh, as you remember, in the definition of the strong Hausher operator, uh, we have uh, continuity in probability, not in the square mean, but in probability, which, which a priori is uh, much weaker than uh, in square mean. But in uh, Hausher case, uh, it leads to this. Uh, how to how to check this? How to check this? Let us try to use closed graph theorem. So let us consider A as a map from H to A two omega. So uh, this is a set of square integrates random elements, not a zero but a two. And now it uh, it, it, it acts in this uh, in this way, uh, and uh, it is defined on all H and H is Hilbert space, so it is complete normal space. And uh, what is remaining uh, to check? 
uh, if we want to use uh, closed graph theorem, that A is closed operator. Because we know that closed operator defined on all Banach space is continuous. Okay? Now let's, uh, let's check it. Uh, to check this, it is enough to check the following. Suppose that H n tends to zero, when n tends to and A H n tends to something like eta in L two. I emphasize in L two in this space when uh, n tends to infinity. And what we need to check that eta is equal to zero. But what we know, what we know uh, from the definition of the strong random operator, since A is strong random operator, uh, then Then uh, A H N tends to zero in probability. This is a uh, this is a, a definition. It must be continuous in probability. But uh, now uh, one can recall uh, the <coughs> Ries lemma that if we have such conversions. Uh, even we don't need this lemma here. Uh, if we have such conversions, then uh, we have the same conversions probability due to Chebyshev and inequality. Yes, but uh, from this, one can have that A H N simultaneously conversion probability of eta. From these two lines, one can conclude that eta is equal to zero. This is the end of the proof. So we know now that A is continuous in square mean. Uh, okay, uh, it's a good sign. Why? Because now we can try to define centers. I'm uh, sorry, can you repeat, please? Uh, so we have proved that A is the closed operator, and uh, now why it is continuous? Because it is defined on all uh, H. Closed okay. operator, which is defined on the Banach space, is uh, uh, continuous operator. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, so now uh, we uh, can define some uh, characteristics of the Hausian strong random operator. By the way, uh, uh, in the future, instead of the words Hausian, Hausian strong random random operator, I will consider uh, the uh, abbreviation G as So uh, let uh, let uh, let us consider the uh, Hausian strong random operator A and uh, try to define its uh, characteristics. Uh, first of all, uh, let us uh, consider the following: uh, for every H, we remember uh, that uh, A H has Hausian distribution in Hilbert space. So it must be characterized by two objects. One is like mean, uh, let, let it be for a moment MH, and second one is covariance operator. Let me recall your definition of this object and uh, their properties.
Uh, so, uh, what is MH? Uh, for any uh, F belonging to H, uh, the scalar product F and H is Gaussian random variable. Is Gaussian. Gaussian. Random, random variable. Uh, so one can define its uh, mean. Take expectation of F H H. Uh, and let me know that the absolute value of this expectation is less or equal than uh, than what? The norm of f. I just use uh, here uh, uh, Cauchy inequality for in a product, and here expectation of. Uh, norm AH square, which is finite, we know, in one half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, since then, we know that expectation of F of H is continuous functional. And must be represented due to the H is uh, capital H is Hilbert space as some product F on MH. This is the definition of the mean of this. Okay. Moreover, uh, I think that this MH is a continuous operator now. So I claim that MH is a linear and continuous operator defined in the, in the capital H. Uh, why it is so? Because uh, we know continuity of A in square mean. So I can continue this and say that it is less than uh, norm of f. Some constant, I don't care about it. This constant came from the continuity of a. And here is norm of h. Yeah. When we have such relation for this expression, we definitely have continuity of m. So m h is action of some operator, a, uh, I will call it A0 uh, on H, where A0 belongs to A on H. So uh, we already define the mean of the strong Gaussian random operator. It is continuous operator. Uh, in our initial uh, space capital H. Uh, this is the first one, second object. We remember that Uh, we have also covariance operator. Yeah? But now uh, to work with it, it's better to discuss the following multilinear form. So let us take H1, H2, F1, F2, all of capital H, and consider the expectation of the following kind. This is uh, F1, A, H1. 
here is F2, A, H2. Now, uh, what can we check it? Exactly in the same manner as before, it can be checked that this uh, multilinear form of these four arguments is continuous with respect to all arguments. Yeah. Is continuous with respect to all arguments. So uh, one can define it. One can define it like P of H1, H2, F1, F2. Uh, and then I look for its properties. Uh, what I can claim, uh, at least it is nuclear with respect to these arguments of one F2. Maybe it is not uh, very surprising because we remember that covariance operator of this Hausher uh, element and this Hausher element in initial space H are nuclear operators, not arbitrary. Nuclear operators. So uh, one can think that uh, maybe it is expected that this um, four linear form is nuclear with respect to this plane. Uh, so uh, up to now, we understand that uh, the distribution of Hausen strong random operator is uniquely defined by these two uh, things, A and F. Uh, so uh, one can ask how to check properties of Hausen strong random operator having only these two objects. We will do this next time. Uh, today, that's all. Thank you for attention. Maybe uh, somebody have questions or comments, please. Okay. Sorry, probably I have a question. <clears throat> so okay. if my A is uniquely defined by A0 and big big, big phi, uh, yes. so that does it mean that, that for, for, for Gaussian random operators there is only one modification, a measurable modification or something no, like no 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 no, no oh. it doesn't no, no, mean that, uh, it uh, just means that the distribution is uniquely defined, but uh, we, uh, all modifications of the okay. process have the same distributions, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, well, maybe, maybe, maybe fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, only distribution. But uh, uh, since we are discussing probability properties, then uh, after we choose some modifications and work with it, uh, the conclusion which we uh, we will do, of course, uh, is uh, the conclusion from the properties of these two objects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so so it's like uh, we consider Laplacian operator with different boundary conditions, and we have different extensions of this Laplace operator. And here also we have different, different, different extensions. Different extensions. Yeah. Yeah, more or less, it is, uh, it is uh, very close to this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, then uh, see you next week. Bye. Bye.